everyone. Welcome to Wednesday's Take and Makes for Kids. My name's Allie and today we're going to be making some wind socks that can blow in the spring wind. Let's go ahead and get started and take a look at what we have in our Take and Make kits today. In your Take and Make kit, you should have an instruction booklet, a piece of construction paper, two colorful ribbons, a piece of string, and three glue dots. Let's get started. Your first step is to start by decorating your piece of construction paper. So I'm actually going to skip this step so I can show you guys how to build the windsock, but you can decorate using markers, crayons, stickers, tape, anything that you can imagine, any pictures you can draw, you can draw on here. Now I will say, when you roll up your windsock, you're going to roll it up this way. So if you wanna draw a picture, make sure that you have the long side facing down and not on the side like this. So landscape orientation is what that's called. All right, let's go to the next step. Uh, I forgot to mention, my friends, you're also going to need a hole punch. And if you don't have a hole punch, you can use a sharp pencil. Just be careful while using it. So now what we're going to do is we're going to take our three glue dots and we're going to put them right on the edge of our paper. One, one in the middle for two, and one last one. Oops. And three. And now we're going to roll our paper into a cylinder shape and we'll just attach our glue dots there and in the middle. And now we have a nice cylinder shape. There we go. Next, what you're going to do is you're going to take your hole punch and you're going to punch four holes at the bottom of your windsock. So one, two, three, and four. You're also going to punch two holes at the top of your windsock. So one, two, there we go. Now you'll need a pair of scissors for your next step. And with the scissors, you want to take your ribbon and cut it into four equal lengths. So I'm going to find the center point on my ribbons and I'm going to cut them right in the middle very carefully. Now we want to take the ribbons and tie them through, tie them onto your windsock through those holes that we made with the hole punch. So thread them through and tie them. Now don't pull too tightly because you don't want to crinkle your paper, but I'm just using double knots and tying them just like that. I'm gonna tie the rest on and I will show you my results in just a second. All right, so now I have my ribbons tied onto the bottom of my windsock. And what's gonna happen is when the wind blows through the tube, it's gonna make these ribbons spiral in the air very beautifully. So before we can do that though, we need to tie on our string to the very top. So we can hang it somewhere. So once again, I'm just tying a double knot, not crinkling my paper. And one more knot. And there we go. Now you have your completed windsock and you can hang it on a tree outside or if you have a hook outside, you can hang it and you can watch it blow and flow in the wind.
All right, everyone. Thanks for joining me as we made our wind socks. You can hang it on your tree in the backyard or on a hook in the, um, on the outside and you can watch the wind flow through it and spiral all of these ribbons beautifully. So thanks so much for joining me for crafting today, guys. Make sure to send a picture of your windsock in to us, and also make sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel for more updates from the Rapid City Public Library. We'll see you next time, my friends. Have a great day. Bye.